Hi, I'm Lieutenant Commander James Haley, the number two pilot and right wingman for the 2020 Blue Angels. Today we're here to talk about the low break cross. As you'll see in the setup here in the video, we've just entered from behind the crowd, smoke on, and boss is about to call the ready break. Now at the ready break, two and three will exit the show line 90 degrees out in each direction, followed by a subsequent ready break, and one and four will exit on the crowd left and crowd right in front of the crowd headings, just 30 degrees off of the appropriate heading. Now here, as you see, just I've dipped my wing to the right to look for my checkpoint that ha actually happens to be directly under my aircraft. Now, as boss calls one mile mark is indicating that boss is one mile outbound on his respective heading. So right here, I'm executing the crowd right heading of 071, and I'm gonna look for a little drain directly below my aircraft indicated on this imagery we use for pre-flight study. Subsequently here in another uh, about five seconds, you'll see me dip my wing to the left as I set up for the turn as boss calls mile and a half mark. At a mile and a half mark, he's obviously at a mile and a half outbound, setting up for our turns inbound. And now I'm looking for the sand trap on the 14th hole at NES Pensacola Golf Course. As we fly outbound here, we're at 350 uh, knots ground speed, and then we set up a 4G turn inbound here. As you'll see in the video, I'm crossing with the four, number four pilot right here, looking to set up about a 50 to 100 foot pass. I pass outside of number four, so I set the uh, hit there as four is looking to maintain a constant 4G pull uh, to allow me to set that hit from the crowd that's gonna look like we pass nose to nose. As we press inbound here, now I'm going to descend to get on my appropriate cross altitude. For now, it's 500 feet. We'll change those and modify those throughout the season as we get a little bit closer and a little bit more proficient. Here, one and four are looking to uh, set their airspeed roughly 375 knots ground speed and modify that so that we all four cross directly at center point. Now my job as well as three's job is to fly CBDR. What, what is CBDR? Well it's constant bearing decreasing range. Uh, kind of a navy term there as we look to just modify the power be on altitude and put four on a specific point on the canopy and make sure that he stays there and doesn't drift forward or aft as we go all the way inbound. As you'll see here, we'll all cross with our 150 foot spacing in four different directions, and then I'll be looking to squat my jet, another 6G pull there uh, to parallel show line as four and I now exit crowd left. You'll see four on the right hand side, setting up for one of the biggest pulls right here in the two spot at seven and a half G's for 180 degrees to turn. You'll see me actually go two hands on the stick uh, to really set that pull uh, in a aggressive manner, if you will. Now behind the crowd here, we're setting up for another hit with one and three as we set up for the rejoin. So if the crowd happens to look behind them in the show, it looks like we'll pass 90 degrees out and almost hit each other in real life, we're separated by about a quarter mile. As we set up for the join, I'll have level airspace in this join as our contract and four will have the outside of the turn and high as we look to safely rendezvous out here and set up for the burner 270. Thanks for joining me for this week's segment of the debrief talking about the low break cross, 
my favorite maneuver.